Hello, good evening, my dear participants. How are you today? Hello. It's good Hi. to have you. Fine, and you? Fine also, thank you. Thank you very much, I'm fine. Um, very well too. I'm uh, <clears throat> happy that you are here. Uh, after the traffic jam of the week, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. sometimes it's difficult, I know, to arrive home early, but it's good to have you here in class. Okay, uh, we are going to start uh, remembering uh, in the, we are now in the section number four of the platform. So tonight we are going to conclude the topic of adjectives, uh, comparison adjectives, and then we will go over the lesson point for 4.4. By the end of this session, participants will know how to ask and answers, answer questions using comparison with adjectives. So as you said, last night we studied about adjectives and we learned on how to make uh, comparisons using the ER and then um, also adding more, the word more uh, to the adjectives. And finally, we learn uh, about the irregular adjectives that we need to memorize, okay? So <clears throat> in your um, platform, you have this video, okay? And then after the video, you have the knowledge check. So I want you to please complete this knowledge check by this week, because this week we are going to finish um, module, num I mean, section number four. Okay, so uh, after this, we are going to uh, conclude uh, how to pronounce in order to sound natural when asking questions of choice. But this is maybe is going to be tomorrow because by today I want to finish the uh, adjectives, the comparison and superlative adjectives, okay? So I'm going to stop sharing that and I'm going to go to my presentation. And there, um, just to remind you, last night we learned about the rule. Uh, we learned about, um, let's see here, about the rule about adding ER for, uh, for short adjectives, like old, older, young, younger, we learn that if you have a monosyllable and this is a consonant, double consonant, then you double the last consonant you have. And for example, big, bigger, hot, hotter. And um, if you have an adjective ended in Y, you change the Y and then you add ER and then you say easy, easier, heavy, heavier. But also we learn that we have some special adjectives which are irregular that you need to memorize because they are different. They don't follow this rule. And you say good, better, bad, worse, far, farther, farther, little, less, much, many, and more. And in all cases, you use then, okay? Very good. So that's what we did last night. And then we learn with examples. We practice uh, with your sentences that you elaborated after uh, reading the rules for one syllable adjectives, two syllable adjectives, three or more, and then the irregular adjectives. Uh, we continue studying the rule and then <clears throat> remembering the irregular adjectives. Then we have an exercise and you help me to complete the sentences, okay? So now we are going to advance here, and it's basically uh, just a reminder, okay? Uh, we have this, this chart that I would like to share with you. Uh, in this chart, you learn how to do not only the comparative, but also the superlative, okay? Uh, for example, if I say fast, estoy diciendo rápido. If I say faster, digo más rápido, y si le agrego than, faster than, más rápido que. But if I say the fastest, and I add an EST, estoy diciendo el más rápido, el más veloz. Young, joven, younger, younger than, más joven que. Pero si yo digo the youngest, estoy diciendo el más joven. So, the rule is here. For one syllable adjectives ending in E, you add 
air. Nice, nicer, strange, stranger. But if you want to make the superlative, si usted quiere hacer el superlativo, then you add st. Nice, then in the word da. ¿Verdad? Siempre para el superlativo le agregamos eh, la T-H-E, da. The nicest, el más agradable. Strange, extra, extraño. Stranger, el stranger than, más extraño que. The strangest, el más extraño. Ok, no comparison. The superlative is established a higher point, un punto bien alto, ¿verdad? El máximo. No, no hay comparación con ese... Eh, superlativo que estamos diciendo, ¿verdad? Con esa cualificación que estamos dando al adjetivo. One syllable, double the consonant and add e air. Big, bigger, the biggest. Hot, hotter, the hottest. Two syllable ending in y. Happy, happier, <clears throat> happier than, eh, the happiest. Happy, feliz. Happier than, más feliz que, the happiest, el más feliz. Crazy, crazier, the craziest, eh, loco, crazier than, más loco que, the craziest, el más loco. But if I have two or more uh, syllables, you say famous, more famous, the most famous. Famoso, more famous Dan, más famoso que, the most famous, el más famoso. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Hermoso, hermosa, eh, más hermoso o hermosa, el más hermoso, no comparison. Okay, some exceptions are good, that you say better, the best. Bad, that you say worse, the worst. Okay, so as I have here, <clears throat> Y aquí les traigo para el superlativo. Entonces, como ya dominamos el, eh, el comparativo, ¿verdad? El comparativo ya dijimos que lo hacemos agregando ER y la palabra DAN, T-H-A-N, DAN, ¿ok? But in the superlative degree of adjectives, we use the superlative to compare more than two people, places, or things. For example, eh, eh, for short adjectives, you just add EST, all the oldest, young, the youngest. But remember that you always have to add the particle the, the oldest, the youngest. When you have a consonant, vowel consonant plus EST, then the final consonant is double. The rule is almost the same. Big, the biggest. <clears throat> Hot, the hottest. And for short adjectives ended in Y, you uh, change the Y and add EST. Easy, the easiest. Heavy, the heaviest. Heaviest. Okay, for the long adjectives, that means the ones that have three or more syllables, like exciting, you count X, one, side, two, thing, three. Beautiful, you have four. Irregular, you have four syllables, so they are too long. So you say, exciting, the most exciting. Beautiful, the most beautiful. And for irregular adjectives, the superlative, you say, good, the best. Bueno, el mejor. Bad, malo, the worst, el peor, no comparison. Far, lejos, the farthest. El más lejano, el más, eh, yes, el más lejano. Little, pequeño, the least, el más pequeño. Much, many, the most. Okay? Eh, <clears throat> mucho, ¿verdad? Muchos, el más, ¿verdad? No comparison. We use the before the superlative form of the adjective. For example, John is the tallest. A Ferrari is the most expensive car, so it's no comparison. So here I have more example for you. Let me see. Okay, look, <clears throat> one syllable adjectives, long, longest, straight, straightest, big, biggest, tall, tallest, 
large, largest, hot, hottest. Two syllable adjective, honest, most honest, happy, happiest, narrow, narrowest, famous, most famous, crazy, craziest, gentle, gentlest. Okay, and then here we have more. If you have three or more syllables, you say expensive, the most expensive, dangerous, the most dangerous, popular, the most popular, beautiful, the most beautiful, or most beautiful, right? Confident, the most confident, difficult, the most difficult, good, best, many, most, bad, worst, little, least, far, farthest, far, you can say also farthest, okay? So those are the three or more syllables and the irregular adjective. So <clears throat> I have here more examples. Clean, cleaner, the cleanest. Easy, easier, the easiest. Fat, fatter, the fa fattest, fattest. Flat, flatter, flattest. Heavy, heavier, ha heaviest. Hot, hotter, hottest. Narrow, narrower, narrowest. Noisy, noisier, noisiest. Simple, simpler, simplest. Thin, thinner, thinnest. Wet, wetter, wettest. Long, longer, longest. Okay, so what we are going to do now uh, is to have it in graphical, in this graphic uh, drawing. You say big, bigger, the biggest, high, higher, the highest, expensive, more expensive, the most expensive, young, younger, the youngest, okay? So I'll, um, I want that you now can create your own um, sentences using some of these adjectives. So what I will do is to send you this picture about the one, one syllable adjectives, two syllable adjectives for you to try to elaborate your own sentences. Okay, so let me see. Okay, I will send it to the group. Okay, very good, so I will send it now. Okay, if you have any problem uh, watching this, I would like that you can let me know. Si tienen problemas para verlo, me lo hacen saber. Okay, <clears throat> now we are just five participants. I don't know, if I think that many people is not here. So Elizabeth, do you have a question? Yes, I see teacher. your hand rising. Okay, tell me. Yes, in this case, uh, can you return to the previous? Uh, yes, of course, please. Yes, yes, let me So go. in two syllable adjectives? No, the other one, the 11. 11, okay, very good. Two syllable adjectives, we have famous. So famous is count like two syllables? Famous? No, three. Oh. Famous. Three. F A M O U S. <clears throat> so, but you have it in two syllable adjectives. Uh, let's see. Or maybe it's a diphthong. Yeah, it's because of the famous. diphthong that even though you can, uh, you can physically separate. But when they sound, it's a diphthong, O's, famous, because of the pronunciation. It's the same, like honest. Yes, uh, ho, yes. Only honest is just two, because yeah. they have just two vowels, ho, nest. The, I, I got confused because mm -hmm. we have most. Let's see where most, is most. Most honest. So it's like kind of, 
irregular, I think, because you have two syllables, mm -hmm. but we just add most, like it was like a three syllable, but the three syllables. Yes, but that's the rule because uh, you cannot say, for example, the honestest. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sound, that's why. It's like an exception. It's some exceptions because of the pronunciation, like famous, that you can count and you can separate. But yeah. the diphthong doesn't allow you to separate when you pronounce. It's the same if you say, if you don't apply most, if, and uh -huh. if you apply the rule of adding EST, you should say the honestest. Yeah. It doesn't sound. It it's like the same, like a crowd deal. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's why. Okay, but it's a good observation. And I like that you can be curious to discover why the reason. Okay. So uh, now let me put you in pairs in the breakout rooms. And what I pretend is, or what I would like to, is that you can elaborate at least one, two, three, four sentences. One sentence using a superlative adjective with one syllable adjective two syllable adjective, three or more syllable adjective, and one with irregular adjective, okay? So you will have four sentences. So if you are two people in each group, you can work at least two sentences each, okay? Está claro? La idea es que nos podamos trabajar en parejas, lo voy a separar para que no se interfieran, aunque el grupo está pequeño esta noche. Pero eh, lo que quisiera es que practiquen haciendo al menos, al menos, si pueden hacer más que bueno, una oración utilizando el superlativo para los adjetivos de una sílaba, dos sílabas, tres sílabas y para los irregulares. Como son dos personas por equipo, entonces les toca, les corresponde al menos crear dos oraciones a cada uno. So I will give you four minutes, one minute per sentence in order for you to discuss, think about and then join back, it's like about five minutes in order to create your own sentences. So uh, I send you the, the picture, so I, I hope you don't have any problem. Okay, so let me put two rooms here. Okay, very good. So would you like to do it with one syllable too? And I'm going to make three and irregular adjectives. Okay. Hello, Noe. Hello, teacher. Are you alone in the breakout room? Um, no, I am with Julie. Okay, very good, great. Are you communicating each other? Yes, yes. Okay, very good, very good, nice. I will be waiting for you, okay? Okay, okay but very good. Okay. Julie isn't ready yet. Okay, are you ready, Julie? Um, yes. Okay, very good. So let's work together, okay? See you okay. Later. Okay, bye.
Okay. She has the longest hair of your friends. Oh, uh -huh. of all my friends. Yeah, I think it's cool. It's cool. Um, so with irregular adjectives, I can say My work is the farthest that I ever have, maybe. Teacher, is that correct to say that? Yes, uh, because you are, you are saying that the current, maybe if you say, my current job is the farthest I ever have. Mi actual okay. trabajo. Porque mm -hmm. está, está diciendo de su actual trabajo en relación a otro, ¿verdad? Mi actual trabajo yeah. es el más lejano que yo he tenido. Yeah, okay. That's correct. Yeah. Okay, Thank very you. good. How long will it take for you to finish? One minute, two minutes? Uh, how many? Uh, we already finished, teacher. Very good. Let me go to the other group and then I call you back. Okay? To the okay. next. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Door is the narrow. Uh -huh. My dear participants, how are you uh, advancing? How many questions do you have pending? Or sentences or examples? Uh, we did uh, four or five sentences each. Very good, very good, nice. So you are ready to come back to the main session. Okay, okay, okay. I'll call you back, very good. Okay. We can hear you, teacher. Okay, okay, very good. You're back. Okay, how was the experience of elaborating sentences uh, using these superlative adjectives? Uh, good, teacher. Okay, nice. Because now you have domain on the comparison using er and dan. Now you're learning how to do the superlative with est and most. Okay, very good. So, so now that we are together, I would like to ask uh, maybe Noe. Noe and Julie, if you're ready, would you like to start? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay very teacher. good. Okay, go ahead. Tell us what you elaborated. Okay, um, I'm going to start. Okay, um, very good. 
the El Salvador is the least country in America. Okay. Um, Canada is the largest country in America. Okay. Um, uh, Panama is the narrowest country in America. Very good. Um, and, 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 and only that. Okay, great. Thank you, Noe. Very good ex examples in application of the superlative adjective. Okay, very good. Now it's your turn, Julie. Okay. My uncle is tallest of my family. The tallest. Remember always tallest. to add uh -huh. the, the, the tallest. tallest. Uh -huh. The children are the happiest in this part. Okay, the happiest. Yes, yes. The uh -huh. happiest. The cars, BMW. Mm -hmm. are the most expensive of market. Uh, the most expensive uh, trade maybe or the most expensive ones. Los más caros. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The most expensive one. O si usted quiere decir de la marca, por la marca, maybe you can say mm -hmm. uh, the BMW are the, is the most expensive brand. En ese caso, brand. Eh, la marca, ¿verdad? Brand. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Ok, Julie, great. Thank you very much. Nice exercises uh, and sentences. So, let me see Katia and Elizabeth. Ok. I first. Ok, go ahead. Yesenia has the longest hair of all my friends. The longest hair. Hair. Of, yeah, very of good. all my friends. Yes, okay, great. And Cooper is the craziest dog that I have. Okay. Only. Very good. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, now you know how to apply it. Elizabeth, go ahead with yours. Yeah. Uh, Maria is the most confident friend that I ever have. Mm -hmm. Um. My current job is the fa farthest job that I ever have. Okay, very good. Good examples. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Okay, nice. Now you know how to use uh, the uh, superlative uh, adjectives in different sentences with one syllable, two syllable, three or more syllable, and also irregular adjectives. Okay, very good. Now. We are going to advance and we are going to have these exercises. And it says, comparative and superlative adjectives. Read the sentences below and fill in, and fill in the correct uh, form of adjective. So I have Mount Everest is mountain, mountain in the world. And then the word you have here is height. You are a person I know, kind. Rabbits are small than dogs. I am the person in this class. And then you have the word short, the adjective short. The red car is than the blue car. And then the adjective you have there is fast. The apple is than the apple, uh, than that apple. And then you have the word red. Do you think a hammer is than a drill? And then you say useful. Okay, I'll give you individually uh, two minutes in order that you complete these sentences, okay? Try to write them uh, in your mind or in, if you have a, a notebook, try to write them and try to give us a proposal on how you should use the comparative and superlative. Ahorita ya estoy uniendo ambas cosas, ¿verdad? El comparativo, eh, ER plus eh, DAN, Y el superlativo EST, ¿verdad? Eh, plus eh, EST in the word and da, ¿verdad? The biggest, the oldest, ok. 
So uh, what I need is that you think about what should be the, the best option for each sentence, okay? I'll give okay. you one minute, two minutes, because there are seven, seven uh, exercises, okay? When you're ready, you raise your hand. Okay, Noé. Okay. Um, Tell us. Number one. Let me the see. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. Okay, very good. So let me see because I, I lose my... Okay, I very good. The Mount Everest? It's the highest mountain in the world. Okay, so let me try to write it here. The Mount Everest is, according to you, is the highest. Highest. Highest mountain in the world. Very good. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Noe. Okay, next volunteer for number two. Okay, Elizabeth, you are the kindest person I know. Okay, very good. Nice. Okay, let's see the uh, who else was raising hand. ¿Quién más había levantado la manito? I don't know if, ah, okay, maybe it was Noé that still had, had it raised. Okay, Katia, my dear, do you have a proposal? Okay. Yes, number three. Okay, tell us. Rabbits are smaller than dogs. Okay, very good, smaller than dogs, very good. Number four, Julie. Okay, I am the shortest person in, in the class. Okay, let's see, shortest. Very good. Uh, number five, maybe Noe, would you like to do it? Okay. Number five, mm -hmm. the red. Number five. Mm -hmm. Okay, the red car is faster than the blue car. Very good. Okay, uh, Elizabeth, would you like to participate with number six? Yes, okay. this uh -huh. apple is redder than that apple. Okay. Redder than. Pero en ese caso, ¿qué dijimos? Yes, que dijimos? double D, double okay. D. Okay, redder than. Ah, ya tenemos el than ahí. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, number seven, maybe Katia, would you like to... Close the exercises. I'm not sure. Okay, tell us. But maybe. Okay. Do you think a hammer is more useful than a drill? Okay, in this case it's more. more. Cuando usemos un comparativo, usamos la palabra more. Eh, y es normal, Katia, porque creo que usted no tomó la clase de ayer, entonces ayer fue que vimos oh, lo de more. Don't worry, don't worry, but it's good. It's good for you to just uh, reaffirm that this is the way it is, okay? Eh, for the superlative, we use you. most, okay? But for comparative, when you have more than three it's syllables, more. you use more. So you say, do you think that a hammer is more useful than a drill? Okay, very good. Thank you, Katia. Okay, let's Thank see you. if we have more. Let's see. Teacher, what is the meaning of hammer? It's like a martillo. Es un martillo, sí. Es, okay. eh, ¿Tú crees que un martillo es más útil que un taladro? 
El drill okay. es aquel de ñi, taladro. Yeah. Yeah. Ok, very good. Ok, nice. Ok, let's see. I have more. Tengo más. I have 15. So I need more volunteers again. Para que terminemos el ejercicio. Ok, let's see. I'll give you one minute to think and choose your sentences. So since you are four, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tengo dos para cada una. Okay, Elizabeth. <laughs> I had the most uh -huh. wonderful evening with my mom. Okay, the mm. most wonderful. Yep. Yes, I had the most wonderful evening with my mom. Very good. Okay, volunteer for number nine. Me teacher. Okay, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies first. So, Noe, it's a very kind person. So, he should allow you to answer first. Okay. Okay. The Pacific Ocean is deeper than the Arctic. Okay, Dan is already written, so deeper, mm -hmm. just deeper. Okay, deeper, the Pacific Ocean is deeper than the Arctic Ocean. Very good. Okay, Noe, now it's your turn. Um, my brother is younger than me. Very good. Okay, nice. Uh, Katia, would you like to try one? Yes. He is has more famous has his father ok en este caso katia como estamos comparando y miren qué interesante este ejercicio porque es as yeah. as entonces yeah. aquí no hay nadie que se lleve como mayor protagonismo sino que son iguales entonces cuando usamos mm. as al principio y as al final estamos diciendo él es tan famoso como su padre. Entonces el primer as significa tan y el segundo as, as famous, como. As. Uh -huh. Entonces he is as The as, most famous. No. no. As, no. Famous, as, as, no. Fam as famous as his father. Yeah. Él es tan famoso como su padre. ¿Sí? Ajá, porque este A, yes. el, el okay. primero significa tan y el segundo como. como. Entonces aquí eh, oh. es, un, es un grado de igualdad, ¿ok? They are equal. There's no superior comparison. No hay una comparación de superioridad, sino de igualdad. ¿Ok? Queda el adjetivo igual. ¿Perdone? Queda el adjetivo así igualito. Queda igualito, queda igualito. Ok, very good. Uh, number 12. Uh, volunteer for number 12. Mi teacher. Ok, Julie. Yesterday was the was sunnier than today. Sunnier, right? Sunny. If we change the Y for pair uh, or for I. And add air, e air, right? Yes. Sunnier. Yesterday was sunnier than today. Very good. Number 13. Noe, would you like to collaborate with number 13? Are you there? Noe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth, would you like to participate? Number four. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. Biggest. Very good. We double the last consonant, right? Biggest. Yeah. Very good. Uh, Katia, would you like to try number 14? He is the smartest boy in our class. Very good. Smartest. Smartest. <laughs> yeah, smartest. He's so 
It's like, like a, it's martes. Ajá, uh -huh, it sounds like it's, it's martes today. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, but it's true. He's the smartest boy in our class. Very good, it's martes. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> funny. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. Okay, and the last one is, who has the? Cuando hardest. Hardest, ¿verdad? Hardest. Cuando, eh, ya le voy a dar claro. Who is the hardest, who has the hardest job in your family? Very good. Ok, now that we have finished, ahora que hemos terminado, eh, vemos que eh, siempre hay, hay clave, ¿verdad? Cuando veamos el dan, estamos hablando de un comparativo eh, entre una cosa y otra, ¿verdad? Y utilizamos el er. Pero si yo veo de, ¿verdad? De, de entrada que yo veo la partícula de, yo sé que estoy hablando de un eh, superlativo. Es decir, que no hay comparación para, en el caso, Júpiter, ¿verdad? Porque es el planeta más grande del sistema solar. Eh, there's no comparison for the boy because he is the smartest in our class. And there's no comparison for the hardest job in our family. Ok, very good. Uh, let's see the other exercise. Okay, now, uh, this is easy. So, I would like that you voluntarily can choose if we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Okay, I have about two or three uh, for each one of you. Tengo al menos dos o tres para cada uno de ustedes. Um, But I think that it's better that you complete all of them. Por práctica, me gustaría que cada uno de ustedes, eh, you take two minutes, a couple of minutes, que se tomen un par de minutos y que los completen. Y luego voluntariamente ustedes escogen por lo menos dos o tres para hacer ambos, the comparative form and the superlative form. ¿Ok? ¿Es it clear? Yes. Ok, yes. very good. Okay, great. Take a couple of minutes to think about. When you're ready, you let me know. Cuando estén listos, me lo hacen saber. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. Which word? ¿Cuál palabra? Road. Road. Roof. Roof. Es como... Eh, Roof. Como rudo, como... Eh, áspero, um, uh -huh. a rouge, surf, a rock surface, ¿sí? una superficie áspera, ruda, a rouge surface. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, who would like to start? ¿A quién le gustaría comenzar? Teacher, I have a question. I'm confused. Tell me. About the adjective wealthy. Eh, We have like... Como Chris saludable, Silva. creo. No. No. No, no es ah. wealthy, es alguien que tiene mucho dinero. dinero. Afortunado. O adinerado. But in this case, teacher, we, mm -hmm. if we count the syllable, we have like three, wealthy. Mm -hmm. But wealthy. I think it doesn't sound weird. It will say wealthier or wealthiest. Uh, you have to use most or more in this case. Most because it has... It doesn't sound, if, if you do the exercise, yeah. it doesn't sound properly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I, I got confused with it. Yeah, with I know. This. But in this case, 
it's more. Once you have mo more than three syllable that you can count and you uh, th think that it doesn't sound it, n normally or probably, you have to use more or most. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Tish. You're welcome. Uh, for example, I want to show you from last class, if I have it here, that we have mixed in this case. Uh, let's see. I don't know if that, that word is here, but I see both. Let's see. No, it is, that word, it doesn't appear, that adjective, but uh, the idea is that when you have, the rule says that if you have three or more syllables, you always add more in the case of the comparatives and most in the case of the superlatives. I see, no, I don't have it. No, no, no tenemos. Short, more funnier. No. Teníamos healthy, que es bien parecido en, en los ejercicios, solamente que ya no lo hicimos. It's number eight, teacher. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Salad. Eh, pero ahí sí podemos decir healthier. Mm -hmm. mm, why, teacher? We have three syllables. Healthy. Mm -hmm. Healthy. Pero suena bien si usted le agrega, eh, lo vamos a hacer solo para, para que lo vea. Uh, that's why I was telling you that... Es welfare, confuso. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds good too. Uh, eh, healthy. Salads. Eh, R. R. Ajá, sería R. More, healthier, healthy. more healthy. healthy, perdón, more healthy, but more healthy than hamburgers. Ajá, more healthy. Más saludables que, y es correcto. Eh, podríamos decir healthier, pero suena un poco extraño. Vamos a ver. Let me see. Vamos a ver si, no, si, si lo, lo logramos de, desmitificar. Healthier. Puede, en, en algunos casos puede usarlo de ambas formas. Hel, healthier. Yeah, salas are healthier than, uh -huh. than hamburgers. Uh -huh. and salad. Y sí, y sí existe. Yeah. A healthier, yeah. uh, for example, you say, um, healthier fast food. Es como la, la comida rápida más saludable. Pero yeah. si usted dice more healthy, tam, eh, tampoco no, no, no está mal. Es, está bien. Usted puede decir salads are more healthy than eh, hamburgers. O puede decir salads are healthier than hamburgers. ¿Sí? Yeah, because I, I have read sentences in that way, healthier. Y yeah. también, y puede ser que encuentre wealthier. Vamos a buscarlo yeah. ahora. Wealthier. Ajá. Wealthier. Ok, el más rico. Uh -huh. Sí lo puede usar también de ambas vías. Ok. Pero... Pero eh, en este caso, si a usted, para no utilizar tanta palabra, more healthy, mejor healthier, or more eh, wealthy, you say wealthier, ¿ok? Yeah, it's easy. Easier. Yes, it's easier, ¿ok? <laughs> so salads, in this case, salads are healthier than, aquí sí teníamos que utilizar to yeah. be, ¿verdad? Conjugado. Y yeah. el, la palabra dan. Dan. Ok, very good. Ok, nice. 
let's go. Let's go to the exercise we have and tell me. Cuéntenme, ¿cómo le salió? Así mencionadito, por lo menos uno cada uno, porque ya se nos fue el tiempo. Elizabeth. Okay. Or, Hot, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Hotter, hottest, the hottest. Very good. Okay, Noé. Thick, thicker, the thicker. Mm -hmm. Very good. Julie. Richer, the richer. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth. Uh, a stronger, the strongest. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, thank you very much, my dears. Now you know how to use the comparative. Remember that for comparatives, you say uh, er and the word than. Uh, remember that for superlative, you use est and the word da at the beginning. The biggest, the healthiest, uh, the wealthiest, uh, the strongest, okay? Always, because there's no comparison with that um, qualification that we are given to that uh, noun. Okay, very good. Uh, I hope to see you tomorrow. We, st we still have some pendings. Uh, for example, here I have some questions that you can ask. For example, you can say, who's the most generous person you ever met? What's the most expensive restaurant you've ever been to? What's the best film you've ever seen? What's the most beautiful city you've, you've been to? What's the longest amount of time you've been awake? What's the most difficult? Vean, este difficult también eh, eh, puede contarse que solo son tres, pero se usa most. Eh, what's the worst book you ever read? Eh, who in the whole world eh, do you admire the most? También se puede utilizar aquí al final, the most. What's the most expensive thing you ever bought for yourself? What has been the most embarrassing moment in your life? Embarrassing es penoso, ¿verdad? Vergonzoso. What's the most exciting sport to watch? And so on. So I'll send you this. Le voy a enviar esta presentación para que les quede el material y que vean cómo ya se aplica a la hora de hacer preguntas utilizando superlativos también. Okay, I'm going to stop here and I hope to see you tomorrow, my dears. Okay? Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.